Good morning student. Today we are going to learn about fabrication of NMOS transistor. So first we take a P-type substrate. Then the process starts with the oxidation of the silicon substrate in which a thick silicon dioxide layer is formed on the surface of the substrate. So this region is known as silicon dioxide layer and which is formed due to oxidation process. So this layer is also known as field oxide. Field oxide. Okay. Then the entire oxide surface is then covered with a layer of photoresist. So it looks like this. The entire region is covered with a another layer that is known as photoresist. So here we use a positive photoresist. Positive photoresist is initially in insoluble condition. After the application of UV rays, it becomes soluble. So we selectively apply the UV rays. We never apply the UV rays on the entire surface. So we only apply the UV rays in the middle portion. And the other regions are covered to avoid the UV rays. These regions are covered. So it only applied in this region. So after the application of UV rays, what happened? That region photoresist becomes soluble. Then we remove that soluble photoresist using some chemicals. So after that it looks like this. Okay. Then the uncovered SiO2 layer means the exposed region, this region can be removed and after that we remove the remaining photoresist layer. So first we remove this region of SiO2. So here we can see we remove this region of SiO2 then it looks like this means in these regions the photoregist are also present up to this step. Then we remove the remaining photoregist. So after the removal of photoregist, it looks like this. Okay. Then the surface is covered with a thin oxide layer, which will form the gate oxide of the MOS transistor. So this region is known as thin oxide that covered the entire surface of the substrate. So on the top of the thin oxide layer, a layer of polysilicon is deposited. This darker layer is known as polysilicon. Without doping, polysilicon has relatively high resistivity. The resistivity of polysilicon can be reduced by adding impurities means by doping process or due to addition of impurity the resistivity of the polysilicon may decrease. So after deposition the polysilicon layer is patterned and etched means selectively removed. Here we can see the polysilicon is present only at the middle portion of the substrate. The other regions are selectively removed. So polysilicon form the interconnects and the MOS transistor gates. 
so we only left the polysilicon material in the middle portion of the device where gate will be formed the thin gate oxide that not covered by polysilicon is also etched away which exposes the silicon surface on which the drain and source junctions are to be formed as we know the general structure of mosfet so where the source and drain regions are present source region and drain regions are formed here so we have to remove the thin oxide from these regions only so after the removal it looks like this so there is no thin oxide present in these regions so to form the source and drain region high concentration of impurities added on entire silicon surface using diffusion or iron implantation method so what is diffusion diffusion is a process by which atoms move from a high concentration region to a low concentration region in vlsi fabrication this is a method to introduce impurity atoms into silicon to change its resistivity and another method is known as iron implantation so it is a process that changes the conductivity of areas in a silicon wafer or substrate or dopes them by striking with ionized atoms when the wafer is heated each implanted atom replaces a silicon atom then ultimately create two n type regions in the p type substrate so this two regions are formed so five n plus region aaj we are discussing about fabrication of n mos and we know that for n mos we take a p type substrate and within that p type substrate two n region has to formed for source and drain region so these are act as source and drain region next due to the addition of impurity in the entire surface the resistivity of the polysilicon reduces because the impurity also penetrates the polysilicon as we know the impurity added throughout the entire region of substrate because of that the impurity also penetrate the polysilicon region so due to addition of impurities the resistivity of the polysilicon reduces so polysilicon gate is patterned before doping which defines the precise location of the channel region and hence the location of the source and drain region as we know the channel is always present below the gate terminal and gate terminal formed between source and drain so we already define the gate region and the region for source and drain that is known as self alignment once the source and drain region are completed the entire surface is again covered with an insulating layer so this region or this layer sorry this layer cover the entire surface of the substrate the insulating oxide layer is then patterned in order to provide contact windows for drain and source junction as we know source and drain regions are present here so we just remove the portion present here to provide the contact window so it looks like this 
here we can see there is no insulating oxide present just above the source and drain region again the surface is covered with evaporated aluminum which will form the interconnects this region this black region or black layer we can say this black layer is the evaporated aluminum finally the metal layer is patterned and etched in order to complete the interconnection of the MOS transistor on the surface. So this is all about the fabrication of NMOS. Thank you. Thank you.